Hey guys, Aura1 through 4 here, and I got another deck profile for you. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to go to uh, locals lately because I've been busy with work and end of the semester stuff. Uh, the deck I'm going to show you, I'm going to probably be running at my locals on Thursday. It's because this is sort of a fun deck, but it has a surprisingly annoying win condition. Uh, I call this junk and debris or as my younger brother calls it, you say's deck if it could actually win in real life. Uh, we'll start out with monsters. Three quick draw synchrons. Quick draw's amazing. Then three junk synchrons. And three debris dragons. Uh, those are my tuners for the deck. And uh, as you can see there are three tuners that are either e that are easy to summon and they bring stuff back from the graveyard. Uh, that's sort of the theme. Syn I usually synchro like twice or three times a turn. Then we got three tuning wares. Great draw power. Level manipulation is nice. Three level leaders. Again, stealing levels from things is fun. And then three cool bullet hedgehogs. Easy to special summon. They're usually gone pretty fast, though. And then to finish it off, two dandelions, because dandelion is broke. Uh, next, we'll go into magics. Foolish burial. Sends things to the graveyard. Uh, one for one. Get out all those little mini-level monsters. Very useful. Plus, it pitches a card to the graveyard, which kills two birds with one stone. Uh, your staples. Brain control. Heavy Storm, MST, and then this is where it sort of gets a little different. Two hand destructions to clear some of your non-tuners out of your hand and to hopefully draw into more tuners. Then three Pot of Avarice. You, I've never run into a situation where I couldn't use that unless it was like in my first hand and even then sometimes I could use it. Great, you recycle your synchros and your tuners back into your deck, and then you use them again. And then, what makes this deck work really annoyingly, three Inferno Reckless summons. The only danger of Inferno Recklessing is you can't use it if your opponent doesn't have a face-up monster on the field, and if your opponent has something really powerful out, you better be able to stop it with your synchro summons, or else they could potentially have a three of them on the field when you just sit, wasted it and to maybe get an additional two draw cards from tuning away. Uh, and then my traps are running two limit reverses. Can bring back almost any card in the graveyard. The only things I can't bring back is my junk synchrons. Call of the Haunted, another revival card. Uh, D Prison because I need some sort of attack stopping, and that's pretty good. Starlight Road, because Starlight Road's really good. And two bottomless trap holes to be obnoxious. Um, yeah, this deck can usually get about two or three synchros out per turn. And then, usually by then, you end up drawing into your next pot of avarice, and then you just recycle it all, and then you sync again next turn. Or during the same turn, if you recycle a quick draw. Um, I just can't wait for Junk Destroyer and potentially Synchron Explorer to come out. Because there were plenty of times when I was playtesting this deck where I'm like, you know, I can sync for an A with Quick Draw Synchron, but I would only want to do it with Junk Destroyer, and I don't want to, I wouldn't want to waste my time with uh, Road Warrior. I don't even use Road Warrior in my extra deck. And I think Synchron Explorers has pretty good potential. Actually, I've been able to would have been able to get a Junk Destroyer that could destroy four cards on the field one game, but if we don't have it, we don't have it. Uh, I'll probably make another video for you guys on Saturday, assuming nothing crazy comes up, and I'll have a different deck by then. And I'll also tell you how this does. Or one through four, signing out.